So if you've got a lathe, you've probably done some pen turning, but pen assembly can be a little bit difficult if you're just using a drill press or some clamps to squeeze it together. But why would you do that when you have a lathe, which is a perfect pen press? There's no need to buy expensive pen presses, you know, 50 pounds, $75 more, when you already have one in the form of your lathe. You've got the tailstock and the quill's able to extend out very precisely, very accurately, and press your pen together. It's adjustable in size, you can press any size pen you want. So we're gonna turn a couple of simple pieces. These are ones I've turned before. So these go in the, in the pen drilling jaws. If you don't have pen drilling jaws, you can just make them for the standard chuck. I've got the uh, standard SC4 chuck on my uh, CL3 record power lathe. So I've got a piece which goes into the drill chuck, which has a slightly tapered top to it. You could turn this if you have, if you don't have a drill chuck, you could turn this to fit straight into the Moore's taper of the tailstock. And I have another piece which is turned to fit into the pen jaws or chuck. So let's make one of these. It's super simple, very easy. Even if you're just learning how to turn and make the most basic pens or the most basic things with your lathe, you've got a really basic set of tools. All you really need is a roughing gouge to make these. A parting tool would be nice but you can make to it. There we go, we've got this turned down now. It's smooth. Turn a shaft back here, which will go into my drill truck. Something like that long and less than 13 millimeters, which is the maximum my drill truck can take. We'll have a end there. That will be our block for pressing into the truck. The truck pieces are gonna stay as they are. That end will be there. And I'll just cut it off about here and waste all this material in between. That's 13 and a half millimeters now, so a little bit more, and this will fit into my drill truck. Okay, that will fit into the drill truck once I part it off. In the meantime, we'll start carving this side. Yeah, I've got to start adding a bit of on the inside here. Yeah. So that part's free. I'll cut this off and then turn around and put it on the uh, drill chuck in the headstock finish up but for now we'll push into this bit and make the matching piece. Okay so I've got this turned pretty much down into an angle. And I'll just do a little bit more of a dip and then I'm just going to poke the tip of my parting tool into the center and that is going to give me my tip for the pen tip to go into. So there we go. That's pretty much it, really. Super easy to turn. All we need to do when we want to make a pen is simply mount this into the same chuck. So we simply number this one as number one. And that will line up with jaw number one, so we're always in the same spot, so it's always concentric. We mount the other half into the drill truck, and that will press it together. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this saves you some effort or some money. 
maybe it lets you assemble your pens a little bit more accurately and sharper edges and just get things a little bit better. It's not difficult at all to make and I think it's a better solution than the commercial pen presses which cost quite a bit of money for what they are really. There's no reason you can't just use your lathe for doing lathe stuff. <laughs> it's simple really. So if you enjoyed this video, you think it's gonna help you at all, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate that. Take a look at some of the other videos on the Woodshop Life and perhaps consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along as a subscriber. If you've got any suggestions, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching.